This is BBC One. And this is how we create a picture of our symbol. But if during the new year we happen to want to change our symbol, then of course we'd have to build a new model, like this uh, stupid square world. But there's now a better way of trying out new designs. Instead of having to build a solid model like that, this system does away with Christopher Columbus and goes for a flat world. At the moment, this ordinary piece of artwork is being looked at by a television camera. But the magic comes when the picture from that camera is fed into this device with its control box. So, instantly, I can get a round world, or if I happen to want to, I could have a cylindrical world, or better still, a randomly turning square world. So with this device, you can instantly try out different ideas. It'll be used in television programmes and adverts where the artist wants three-dimensional, solid-looking images. To date, the only alternative to making a model has been film animation. But these Newsnight titles, for example, took two weeks to draw and film, even though a computer was used to work out the movement. And the reason that the animation takes so long is that hundreds of separate pictures like this have to be drawn and photographed one by one to make even that short moving sequence. So how can my little box do all that sort of thing instantly? Well, it's based on the same electronics that have been doing this for some time. You've seen it in everything from Top of the Pops to, well, Tomorrow's World. What's happening is that the 625 lines that make up the television picture of me are being rearranged. For example, normally line one at the top is shown first, then line two, three, and so on, right down to line 625, which is along the bottom. But if we reassemble the picture with this bottom line here first, then it appears at the top and I become a star of Australian television. By constantly recording the lines and replaying them at the wrong times, all these effects can be achieved. But you'll notice that the picture never wraps round on itself. It's always some variation of the simple two-dimensional flat image. To take the leap into three dimensions, this unit has divided every line of this picture into 1,000 points. And that means for the whole picture, 625,000 points are memorized at any one instant. And the beauty is, any point can then be repositioned anywhere on the screen at any time. And uh, just to prove that it's made up of thousands of separate points in the memory, I will now disintegrate the world. Oh, the power of it. And it doesn't stop at using still pictures. Let's try some tricks with this train set. How about a paper chain train? Or I'm told that this is called a Merbius strip. And Here's something that Walt Disney has spent years developing, the page turn effect. And if you happen to want to have a different picture on page two, that's no problem either. Well, I thought for my finale, as it's still the festive season, that I'd invite you to have a drink on me. Here's the artwork. OK, I'll just wrap it round. <laughs> no artificial flavouring in this drink. Just a free train set in every can. Not bad. I'll just round off those corners. Yes, I can hear it now. Future fizz. It's the real tomorrow. Canned as only McCann can.